During my career, I've used um, many different mediums, um, from fairground attractions to web-based programs to using found photography to machinery. And now with Discrete Channel with Noise, I'm using painting. Although I come from a conventional background in photography, over the last 20 years, I've been trying to push and see how far photography can stretch using other disciplines. Like many of the projects that I work on, the Discrete Channel with Noise is an accumulation of lots of different research, ranging from the film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where Mike TV discusses how a image can be transmitted, right through to the current Cambridge Analytica scandal and data mining. The project also has personal connotations for us all, as we're all trying to communicate with each other on a daily basis. Um, with as much clarity as possible. The title Discrete Channel with Noise is taken from Claude Shannon's extended essay called The Mathematical Theory of Information, which he published in 1947. Claude Shannon is the father of information theory. What he was doing was offering a mathematical theory of how sender A could get a message through to receiver B with the minimum amount of noise. I've collected imagery since I was young and I have this particular set of 36 images that I retrieved from a tabloid archive um, and I've used these 36 images time and again in different projects. Uh, for Discrete Channel with Noise, I asked my husband to choose 10 of the images, a selection that I wasn't aware he was selecting, and I gave him a grid whereby he would then give a number, a tonal number between 1 and 10 into each picture element of the grid and then asked him to transmit that information via telephone to me whilst I was doing my residency in Paris. I would then have a large piece of scaled up art paper where I would have paint pots from 1 to 10 and I would paint in each individual picture element into the paper. This was a process that George Aikart wrote about in 1937 where he prophesied the best way of transmitting an image, obviously pre-internet days. The experiment that my husband and I undertook ended up with 10 photographs and 10 paintings. And for the Deutsche Borsa Prize, we're exhibiting five paintings, five photographs, the paint pots and the brushes. I think technology can be so intangible, so mysterious, and sometimes even purposely veiled, that it's hard to understand how systems work. And I think in some ways that's what Discrete Channel of Noise is doing, is making the intangible tangible.